Absolutely. So making those decisions uh, when you are trying to find a co consensus and uh, evaluating players, because most of the time, the, not only, you know, not only talk about the current roster, but also about scouting uh, players that may fit into your roster. Comparing your rookie eyes with your experience eyes right now, has anything changed over the course of the year besides the experience factor coming into play? Are there certain things that you change your opinion on over time that you thought were correct back then and now you find it differently? What are the like the key components that you see that that stick out to you now that may have not stuck out in the past? Huh. Nice question. Um... Welcome to my podcast. Yeah, right. No, that's, um, again, there is no, no, there is no perfect formula as uh, trying to, let's say, make the best possible decision. I, uh, believe it or not, I, I try, I try to stay away, not stay away, but I try not to just rely on numbers because, um, I think that there, there is something else beside numbers. So I have learned to uh, try to be more curious about the, the players that I eventually, or the coach that I eventually want to deal with, try to go more in depth in, in his uh, you know, way of playing or in his career, in his personality. I am, uh, compared to the beginning, I find it very, let's say, much easier, of course, because of technology, but also because of connections. Uh, I find it natural to ask more questions around, to dig more into a, into a player or a coach's life, uh, to, to, you know, to gather a, a different level of information compared to, to the past. Um, again, I don't know if it's a good, uh, if it's a good, uh, st you know, statement or, or not, uh, because I don't want to give the wrong uh, impression. So don't, don't misunderstand me. But I remember when I, when I arrived in Treviso, you know, 30 years ago in Benetton and, uh, and I thought, that I would have never had a chance to run such a, uh, you know, high level program. They were, you know, getting top level players, but, and they were also getting, you know, quality young players. And, and my, you know, I was coming from a, my hometown experience with very limited budgets, with very limited opportunities. And my question was, would I, would I ever be able to, you know, grade the talent to understand when the player really fits this type of level of uh, playing, uh, this type of uh, dreams, this type of goals, you know, how, how, you know, how long I was really hesitant as my ability to, to find uh, the gems that could fit the program to find the, uh, you know, the future of, uh, uh, you know, of, of the franchise, you know, to, you know, I, but I have to say that, um, you know, you talked about rookie eyes. Uh, when I see a player, you know, and maybe you have the same feeling as a, as a veteran scout, but when you see the player, it doesn't take too long to have something inside that tells you he can play or he cannot play. You know, to me, it's a very quick, quick process. And if, if that uh, initial impression is positive, then I become um, more and more curious at gathering uh, additional, let's say, information. But in general, um, Again, I my first my first impression tells me a lot of things when I when I see a play, and uh, you know, and of course I respect numbers, I respect technology, I respect everything. But uh, players is also something beyond that, uh, you know. 
uh, the intangibles, uh, how he fits in a team, how he communicates, what he brings to the table. Is he a, is he a team player, is selfish, no selfish? Uh, can he be a tough guy? Is he, is he something that is uh, not tough enough? You know, these are the things that bring to an evaluation, you know.